Hi friends and welcome back. So today I figured we would do an update on Calf Trio and how the treatment has been going because I know that a lot of you have been asking on here, a lot of you have been asking over on Twitter and I haven't really talked about it too much on social media since starting. For those of you who are new around here, a quick catch up, I have a long term condition called cystic fibrosis. It's a genetic illness that I was born with, as you get older it gets more progressive so you deteriorate more. The mucus in somebody with cystic fibrosis is thicker than it would be in somebody without. That causes all kinds of problems so your organs get clogged up and your lungs become a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. So bacteria that you would find in the environment like soil water that would otherwise not settle in somebody else's lungs would settle in the lungs of somebody with cystic fibrosis. So think Will Byers and the Demigorgon you know I'm basically like a perfect host for all this shit show and weight gain is basically impossible I have to have over 3,000 calories a day just to maintain the weight that I'm currently at which is tiny and then I have to have more than 3,000 calories a day to actually gain weight I mean we're talking about what a bodybuilder would eat in a day just to keep weight on you can have difficulty breathing and generally you just feel crap so a lot of the time people are dealing with, I'd describe it as fever type symptoms where you have full body aches and pains, chronic fatigue, uh, generally just feeling pretty lousy. And I think the life expectancy currently is around 40, but a lot of people still aren't making it to their 30th birthday. So it's a bit of a mind f to be honest, it is a little bit of a mind f Anyway, it's not all doom and gloom because there was a new drug that came out to the market in America last October called Trikafta, or if you're in Europe, it's called Caftrio. It's just a licensing thing, I, I don't know. And that is basically a modulator. So once it goes into the body, it corrects the faulty gene and makes it work more effectively. So it's not a cure. It doesn't completely fix cystic fibrosis, but does make the gene work more effectively. And it finally got approved for use in the UK around two months ago. I started taking it five weeks ago and all anybody has talked about is this miracle drug and how much it's changed their lives. People who were dying now have a new lease of life. So it's hard not to start something like that and have really high expectations. This is the drug. It's literally a tablet. Most people on Caftrio take these two tablets in the morning and then they have one tablet in the evening. My situation however is a little bit different. So for the last two years, I've actually been on a treatment plan to try and eradicate a bug in my lungs that is particularly nasty and really difficult to get rid of. It's a bug that if left untreated would make you ineligible for a lung transplant if that was something that I needed further down the line. And it also really deteriorates your lungs. So it, it was just super important to treat it. But the treatment for it honestly has been a little bit rough. So for those of you who followed me on Twitter and things, you'll know that last year I missed a family holiday to Disney World because of this bug it basically came back and I was having lung bleeds and it was just a bit of a nightmare. I have been on so many of the different antibiotics that they use to treat it but I was struggling with really bad side effects. It's been a real trying couple of years. I am currently almost a year of not growing that particular bug and I just need to have one more negative result and then I will be finished with the treatment. So I've basically got four to six weeks left of the treatment. The problem is with it is that one of the drugs that I'm taking has an interaction with Caftrio. So I'm on a really reduced rate of Caftrio and I'm only taking two tablets twice a week as opposed to three tablets every single day. So I kind of felt like for the first couple of weeks I didn't really notice too much of a difference. I felt really anxious and I felt really disheartened and felt like it wasn't really working for me the same way that it was working for other people and was it because I'm on the reduced dose? Is it not just going to work as well for me? and that's kind of why I didn't update for quite a while because I just wanted to give it time but there has definitely been a noticeable difference and the patch notes are in. So for general fixes there's a fix for an issue that made it difficult to gain weight. So in the last five weeks I've actually put on three kilograms which is absolutely unheard of for me. I'm still trying to gain more weight and I'm sure that will happen because I literally cannot stop eating. I am hungry all the time. There has also been a fix 
cheeks for an issue that caused coughing. Coughing is just something that comes with having cystic fibrosis and I'll be honest it's exhausting. It is really exhausting. Although it's a little bit superficial I think that's always one of the things that I've struggled with the most because whenever anybody hears anybody cough they think that you're unwell and move away from you. They say oh you've got a cold or oh you should stop smoking. As somebody living with a lung condition it is extremely triggering. Since starting Caf Trio I don't cough. My husband has no idea where I am in the house anymore. He can't just locate me with a cough. Increased energy levels where energy levels were previously depleted. This is a really big one for me because I have struggled for the longest time with real low energy. I have so much more energy since starting Caf Trio. The one thing I will say on that though is that one of the side effects of Caf Trio is insomnia and I have been struggling with my sleep a little bit. There's still spells of tiredness but overall my energy levels are like not on that level. Fix for an issue that made it difficult to breathe. So usually in the morning I wake up, I feel really bogged down, I struggle to breathe and I get short of breath if I do things like run up the stairs or if I go out for a walk and I climb up a hill or whatever. And I kind of feel like breathing is just one of those things that people take for granted because you don't even have to think about it. But when you've got a respiratory illness and it's difficult to breathe and then you can breathe, you, it's, I will never not feel feel grateful for that. Fix for an issue that caused daily pain and fever symptoms, they're gone. I feel fine. There's nothing wrong with me. This was almost a daily occurrence for me before I started Caf Trio and I've had it for probably the past 10 years. It's just completely gone. So new features, added happiness to the mornings. I know that sounds so cringe. Normally in the morning I feel really miserable when I wake up in the sense that I don't feel well, my chest is bogged down, I have to spend a lot of time doing everything airway clearance just to help me breathe a bit better. Now I wake up happy. I can spring out of bed, wander around the house singing, and I have never done that in the morning. Never. Several fixes to prevent crashes and improve overall stability. It's just exactly what the drug's done. I am not having exacerbations anymore, which is basically where the infection levels rise and you get more sick from it. You get the aches and pains, the fever symptoms, and I'm just generally overall in a a much more stable position. The last couple of years I've had so many hospital admissions because my health has been so unstable and this has just fixed all of that. I feel like saying it all out loud makes me realise how much it's actually done. I guess the best way to describe it is when you have a cold, you feel really lousy, then all of a sudden you're better and you'll be like, oh hey I don't have that cold anymore. But you didn't kind of realise the transitioning period of having the cold to just not having it. I don't know, maybe that sounds dumb but it was just there was obviously gradual changes happening but they've just happened a bit slower even though Caftrio has done so much for me I do think that once I go to the full dose I will notice an even bigger improvement one of the ways in cystic fibrosis that they measure how well you're doing is your lung function and for the first four weeks my lung function just didn't change at all it was still just stuck at the same place and that has been quite stressful though I suspect that because of the lower dose it's maybe just not working as well well. I did do a lung function test at home yesterday though and my lung function has jumped up 12%. 12% is a huge amount so it's amazing news. It's definitely heading in the right direction but the two-year treatment that I'm on is quite toxic and it makes my lungs really tight and quite sore so since starting that my lung function overall has been down and it's kind of got it back to where it was last year but not back to where it was before I started the treatment. So I'm hoping that once I I finish this treatment it's out of my system and I move to the full dose of calf trio that I will actually notice more improvement that's the hope anyway but honestly I'm just so thrilled with how it's all going anyway guys I just wanted to say thank you so much for checking in because I know that a lot of you have been asking how it's going and a lot of you have been sending positive thoughts and prayers and everything else and and I just really appreciate it I really appreciate all of you opening up about this initially was something I was so scared to do but the amount of support has just been completely overwhelming and I honestly can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and as always I look forward to seeing you next time. Did I even make any sense? Did I?